Welcome to another new episode of the Get Organized with Declutter Me podcast with myself, Shalina. I hope you're well wherever you are in the world. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that can be both exciting and overwhelming, packing for a summer holiday with the family. Summer holidays are a time for relaxation, fun, and making memories with our loved ones. But before we can enjoy all of that, we need to go through the packing process. As someone who loves to be organized, I know that packing for a family can be daunting. But fear not, because in this episode, I'll be sharing with you my top tips on how to pack efficiently and effectively so you can enjoy a stress-free holiday. So first things first, let's talk about the essentials. When packing for a family, it's important to make a list of all the items you'll need for each family member, including toiletries, clothing, shoes, accessories, and any special equipment you might need, such as car seats or strollers or hiking gear. Make sure to pack any important documents, such as passports and travel insurance um, information as well, and add that to the list. One tip that I find particularly helpful when it comes to packing for a family is to involve everyone in the process. Have each family member create uh, their own packing list and then review them together to make sure that they haven't missed anything. This not only ensures that everyone has what they need, but also helps to build the excitement and and anticipation for their trip. Now that you have your list, it's time to start packing. When it comes to clothing, a great tip is to pack outfits that can be mixed and matched. This not only saves space in your luggage, but it also gives you more options for outfits during your holiday. Roll your clothes instead of folding them so you have a space um, in your suitcase as well. Rolling is always great and also it reduces the amount of creases in a weird way. Another great tip is to use packing cubes. Now, packing cubes, I have talked about on many episodes for many years. Packing cubes are life for me. I have been using them since my 20s, which was 20 years ago. And I bought them from Muji. And they are amazing. They are small, lightweight bags that can be used to compartmentalize. I can't even say the word. Compartmentalize your luggage. You can use one for each family member or for different types of items of clothing for your toiletries, for your electronics, for your accessories. They're just all-encompassingly useful. Um, As I said, I got mine from Muji and I still have been using them after all these years. You can also buy them on Amazon. Um, But they're just perfect. They don't, you know, they keep your uh, luggage organized. They make it easier to unpack once you reach your destination. Um, You can label them so you can put all the categories on them. Um, it's, It's They're just great. Um, When it comes to packing clothes as well, a great way to maximize space is to use packing bags that compress your clothes. These bags are easily found online or in stores that sell travel gear. They're particularly useful for bulky items like jackets or sweaters. I first discovered them about, well, when did I, I went to Iceland, Sweden and Norway with one of my close friends who was from San Francisco and she introduced me to them. I think it was in 2016 we went and It was amazing. She and I both had the same size suitcases, but she had used these compression bags. So she had more clothes in those bags than I had. I had brought less because I had packing cubes. Um, But yeah, and even buying stuff and she bought like, you know, woolly things. She was able to compress them and put them into a suitcase. So they were really useful. The only thing is creases. So, and I am not happy with having too many creases in my clothes. So, um, you know, there was that. It was very creased up. Um, but luckily we had an iron wherever we were. But they are useful if you, especially when you go in the winter, you know, when you go skiing, getting these compression bags is great because it will compress everything and you'll be able to fit more into your suitcase and into your luggage. Next, let's talk about toiletries. So when it comes to toiletries, it's important to pack only what you need. Opt for travel size containers and make sure to pack them in a separate bag or pouch to avoid any spills or any leak. A handy tip is to pack your toiletries in a clear plastic bag so that you can easily see what's inside and also avoid any holdups at airport security, especially in the UK, because it's a painful thing to go through immigration and airport security at the, those airports in the UK. Yes, I am 
fed up with them. Anyway, another useful hack is to pack items inside your shoes. This can be especially helpful when it comes to packing socks, underwear, or small electronic items like chargers and headphones. Not only does it save space, but it also keeps those smaller items from getting lost in your luggage. However, this may not be suitable if you have smelly shoes. Now, a friend of mine on Twitter did put that in, like we'd said, you know, put your stuff in your shoes. And she went, no, no, my stuff will smell of the inside of my shoes. And so I was pretty grossed out by that. So if you have smelly shoes, maybe you can't put anything in there and you have to sort out those smelly shoes. We'll have an episode about that. Another important thing to keep in mind when packing for a family is to consider the luggage allowance for your mode of transportation. Whether you're flying, driving, or taking a train, make sure to check the weight and size limits for both carry-on and checked luggage. This will help you to avoid any unexpected fees or delays at the airport or the station. This is especially important for low-cost airlines such as Fly Dubai, Air Arabia, EasyJet, and Ryanair. I personally won't fly again on, uh, on EasyJet due to a bad experience going to Marrakesh last year due to their luggage policy. We were compliant, but the guy wanted to make a few bucks. I think they get commission of charging people at the gate um, and so forced us to pay, I think, £75 for um, our hand luggage, which was within the space. But just, So just be careful. And the less you take on, uh, especially as hand luggage, the, the easier. The, um, you won't go through the ordeal that we did. Finally, a few additional tips to keep in mind. Pack a reusable shopping bag or tote in your luggage as this can be handy for carrying groceries or souvenirs during a trip. Pack a small, lightweight umbrella or rain jacket just in case you encounter an unexpected weather. Um, Uniglo is amazing for lightweight jackets and coats, raincoats and winter coats. I bought one for the winter, which is waterproof. And it's so light and it's in a bag. It's just perfect to put into the luggage then. Um, if you're traveling with young children, consider packing a portable potty or a toilet training seat to make the bathroom breaks easier for you as well. When packing for a family, it's also important to consider any specific needs or requirements for each family member. So, for example, if your family has allergies or medical conditions, make sure you pack any necessary medications or supplies. This is especially important if you're going to, you know, a foreign country where you can't speak the language and you don't know what the pharmacies and, you know, the chemists are going to be like. Take everything that you know you need, that you can use, that you're a lot allergic to. So it makes it easier for you in case of emergency. If you're traveling with a baby or a young child, don't forget to pack items like diapers, wipes and formula, as these can be difficult also to find in some destinations. And they're also things that you have to add onto your packing list when you start. Another helpful tip is to pack a few extra plastic bags or Ziploc bags. These can be used for a variety of purposes, such as storing wet or dirty clothes, separating your toiletries, or even as impromptu rain covers for electronics or other items. I also saw in Japan, they don't have a lot of rubbish bins in the street. So people were finding it difficult to throw away their rubbish when they were going around and there's a lot of places, you know, you need to do a lot of walking when you're in Japan. So take plastic bag with you so that you can put your rubbish in that bag. And then when you get back to the hotel or you find, find a rubbish bin, you can throw your rubbish in there. Now let's talk about the fun stuff, snacks and entertainment. These are especially important when traveling with children as they help them to keep them occupied and happy during long journeys. When it comes to snacks, for non-perishable items that won't get squished or will spoil easily, such as dried fruits, granola bars, or crackers. As for entertainment, make sure to pack items that are appropriate for each family member's age and interests. They can be books, puzzles, games, iPad or tablet loaded with movies or TV shows or with games. Let's just admit it. Or even a book, like I have lots of books on my tablet to read for myself. Get your children involved by having them decorate their own packing bags or cases with stickers or markers. You could even turn it into a game by setting up challenges or competitions, like seeing who can pack the most efficiently or the most creatively. This is also great for when you want to find your luggage at the carousel as well. Finally, a few more tips to keep in mind. Make sure to label your luggage with your name and contact information both inside and outside the bag. 
This can help you to ensure that your luggage is returned to you in the event that it gets delayed or um, lost. Also consider getting an air tag. I'm going to talk about air tags in another episode and about other um, neat gadgets to use when traveling. But air tags are amazing um, and they're great to help if you, if you lose your luggage. If you're traveling to a destination with a different climate than your home, make sure to pack appropriate clothing accessories. For example, if you're traveling to a beach destination, make sure to pack sunscreen, hats and lightweight clothing. Don't forget to pack the first aid kit with band-aids, pain relievers and antiseptic wipes. And if you're traveling with pets, make sure to pack any necessary supplies like food, water, bowls and, um, and toys. By following these tips and tricks, you can make packing for a family holiday a stress-free and enjoyable experience. So remember the key is to plan ahead with lists, involve everyone in the process and stay organized. So have a lovely, lovely holiday wherever you're going in the world. And if you want to share where you're going, you can do that on social media. You can follow me at D-E-C-L-U-T-T-R-M-E. If you've got any cool tips on how you pack for your family holiday please share them with me as well in the comment box or on social media and you know if you love the episode i would love it if you'd leave a review leave a few stars um that would be amazing um i'd really appreciate it thank you as always for listening i always appreciate it and stay tuned for next week's episode where i will be talking about holiday stuff just holiday stuff to help you um plan for your next holiday All right, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.